Here are three LED retrofit lights. These were featured in a previous video that I made in German language because at the time these two lights were on special offer in two discount store chains in northern Germany. This one is a light zone by Aldi Nord. This is a Livano Home by Lidl. And I wanted to offer a comparison of these two lights against each other and against a Philips light to help people who were thinking about buying one of these special offers. However, that video also featured some points that are of a more general interest, so I thought I'd redo the video in English for everyone. As we take a look at these lights, they are all fairly similar. They are all E27 screw base lights. These two put out 1521 lumen. This one puts out slightly more, 1650 lumen. But these are all supposed to be the equivalent of a 100 watt incandescent light bulb. They are all warm white. These two have a color temperature of 2700K. This one has a color temperature of 3000K. And as we turn the boxes around, we have a whole lot more specifications given on these two lights, not on the Philips. The Philips doesn't really give you a lot of specifications. Particularly interesting here is the color rendering index, which is basically to describe the quality of the light. The Aldi light has a color rendering index above 90. The Lidl light has a color rendering index of 97 or above. And the Philips light has the color rendering index given in the fine print because it's only 80, which is still better than a compact fluorescent, but for LED lights, 80 is not that great. So when it comes to the color rendering index, clearly the Lidl light is the best. However, there are some specifications, some properties that are never listed on the boxes, and those are of particular interest when you are using these lights as video lighting to light your videos. There are two points. Number one, is the light silent? A lot of these LED retrofit lights have drivers inside that put out some sort of noise, either a buzz or a hum or a whine. And of course, when you're trying to record a video and you're surrounded by buzzing and humming and whining, that is very, very distracting. And of course, the worst case would be if those noises actually get picked up by the camera microphone. Point number two is how are the LEDs in these lights driven? Are they driven by a constant DC current or are they driven by some sort of pulsing? The problem is that the pulses follow the mains frequency. They are basically a multiple of the mains frequency, which is a problem when you are in a country with 50 hertz mains frequency and you're trying to record a video with either 30 or 60 frames per second. Because you then have this frequency mismatch. You have the camera recording at a multiple of 60 and the light being pulsed at a multiple of 50. That results in a very, very obnoxious flicker. Unfortunately, you can only find out how LED retrofit lights do with regards to these two points when you actually buy them. And that's what I have done. So that was a fairly long introduction. Now let's finally get these lights connected to power so that we can compare them and see how they do. I now have the Light Zone by Aldi Nord light connected to the Hoppy meter. 
The light was rated 16 watts by the manufacturer. As you can see, that rating is reasonably accurate. I'm now going to bring the light into the frame, and the camera will have to compensate by increasing the shutter speed. That, however, will make the display of the hoppy meter look very strange, which caused some confusion in the last video. So, again, this is just an effect of the video recording. The light is not interfering with the hoppy meter. Here it is. And straight away, unfortunately, you can tell the light is flickering. So the LEDs inside are driven with pulses. The light is completely silent. So that is one good thing. I have had this light running for about half an hour. So it has reached its operating temperature, which we can measure. And what I measure is a maximum temperature of 86 degrees Celsius. The Livano Home by Lidl Light is now connected to the hoppy meter. This one was rated 16.9 watts by the manufacturer. Again, quite an accurate rating. Here is the light, and unfortunately, it is flickering. But it is completely silent, so again, one good thing, one bad thing. Let's measure the operating temperature. Operating temperature is about 74 degrees Celsius. And last but not least, the Philips light has been connected to the hoppy meter. This one is rated 14.5 watts by the manufacturer, and that rating is almost spot on. Here is the light, and as you can see, even when I move it right up close to the camera, there is no flicker at all. So the LEDs in this light are driven with a nice constant DC current. But unfortunately, this light has a different problem. If I move it right up close to the microphones, you should be able to hear. Unfortunately, the driver in this LED light is buzzing. So this light is not perfect either. Let's measure the operating temperature. Maximum temperature is about 70 degrees Celsius. So the light zone by Aldi Nord has the highest operating temperature. The Livano Home by Lidl has the highest color rendering index. And the Philips doesn't flicker. To summarize, unfortunately, none of these lights are perfect. If I had to choose, I would go either for the Livano Home or the Philips, depending on the use case. Specifically for lighting videos, of course, my choice would be the Philips, because a little bit of buzzing is better than a whole lot of flickering. Thank you for watching.